<laughs> I'm gonna get some glue wine. It's optional. Oh, is it? Okay. Hi, Can I get glue wine, please? Glue wine? Yeah. What? Do you want the mug? Red yes. One. Blue one, yes. I don't know what she said. <laughs> <laughs> With rum or not? No, no, just that. Maybe later. Six. Six, wait. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, I like it. <laughs> this is going to be weird. An acquired taste, I think, but it's warm. Mm -hmm. Have a smell this. Mm. <laughs> it's all right. It's very strong. Do I keep this? Oh, souvenir. Your man's driving on the right side of the road. It's been going well so far. I mean, most of it's on motorway, so it's pretty easy. But when you get into the towns, it gets a little bit harder. And roundabouts. Roundabouts aren't easy. Welcome back. It's day two of our 12 day road trip through <laughs> I just Germany. Got a text and I um, guarantee that's EE. -E. Welcome to the Netherlands. Yeah, about five minutes ago, we crossed the border and we are now officially in the Netherlands, which is cool. Um, we are about. 40 minutes away from Begberg in Germany and we are going to see Alex's auntie and uncle for lunch and we're going to spend a few days there with them um, and we'll explore this door from Köln and surrounds and yeah we'll have our own uh, our very own German travel guide which would be awesome. We didn't film very much over these last few days because we were focused on spending our time with our family but we did manage to film a few bits and pieces here and there so we hope you enjoy what we managed to capture. The blue one. Hi! Get your coat on, it's freezing! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you! Hi! Oh, you look like you're so big! I'm a picture! We've just left Wegberg. Is that right? Beg. Wegberg. The. Yeah. Begberg, we've just left Begberg, and we are currently following Max and Helmut to our accommodation in Mönchengladbach because they know the area really well and they know exactly where we're staying. So we've got maps going at the moment in case we lose track with them and get lost ourselves. Max and Helmut took us to a bakery to get some bits and pieces for lunch and we had a really nice, uh, was it chicken or beef gyros? Chicken. Chicken gyros for lunch um, and a lovely cup of tea and yeah, now we're going to spend the afternoon exploring uh, Munching Lab back and just chilling out. Then... <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> we are in our little apartment room in Munching Lab back. It's very cozy, it's very warm, it smells a bit funky, but we will ignore that. Um, we have a lovely TV. This is going to be full of German stuff, so I don't really know. <laughs> crashed into the bed. <laughs> um, obviously, a wardrobe. No point showing you that because it's a wardrobe, they're the same everywhere. Um, ignore the bed, it's covered in crap. I'm not finished unpacking yet because we're knackered. We have a little workspace. In here, we have a dining table, just also covered in crap. And over here, we have a little kitchen. This works. Oh, look at that. Um, we have an induction cooktop and a microwave and everything we need for cooking except a chopping board. Fridge is down there, there's some cleaning supplies in there. We have a coffee machine which I will utilise in the morning when Alex makes me a nice cup of coffee before I get out of bed. He's shaking his head at me. And then out here we have a balcony. Look at all this space. We have a barbecue up here. Great fun. We have a little bathroom. Oh. A little bathroom. 
And then I don't know if you can hear the thumping and whatnot, but it seems like everyone around us is having a party with elephants. So we'll have to get used to that. But that's it. Here are the two restaurants near you that are definitely open on Mondays. They're up the steps behind that big church. There might be others in the old start, the old town. And there's Lynx. Italian. And one's an, one's an Argentinian steakhouse, but that's amazing. And the other one is an Italian restaurant. Not expensive, good pizza and pasta. But we had pasta last night. So no pizza tonight, thank you, darling. going next so we have a destination and a plan we just did a brisk walk through munch and glad back down to media marked um, which i think directly translates as media shop so i could get some headphones for editing uh, a usb mic for filming voiceover and what else did we get oh an sd card an sd card for the other gopro because i didn't bring enough with me so that's our first adventure in Munching Gladback. There's not much to it, but we'll finish up here and then find somewhere for dinner. <laughs> We went to this absolutely amazing Italian restaurant in the centre of Mönchengladbach. You can pick your pasta and your sauces and they cook your meal right in front of you which was super entertaining to watch because we don't have anything like this in the UK. to uh we're getting the train from munching glad back to Düsseldorf, and then we're going from there after a few hours to is it essen essen yeah for the yeah. christmas market <laughs> good morning morning <laughs> got your apples oh <laughs> Sie kommen aus Afghanistan, den Iran, den Irak. Dazu muss ich nicht mehr sagen. Du sollst nicht töten, fängt viel früher an. Du in Belarus, töten, there are lots of refugees and they're being held up at the European border in Poland. And Belarus won't let them back in and Poland won't let them in either. And there are children, families and men. They're in the woods in this weather. They're sleeping out in the rough. They've got nothing to eat, they've got no water, and they're trapped there and aren't allowed any help. up 
there. Yeah. <laughs> this chocolate cake. Oh, I don't know. Can I have both? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever you like.